how do we promote our one-to-one -one services on social media uh, if we've been hopefully consistent in putting up content like videos or articles or something like that? So the first thing I'll, I'll say is to start noticing how others do it and what you like and don't like about how they're doing it. So if you, let's say Instagram, let's say you, you know, want to promote your one-on-one -on, -one on Instagram, start going, I mean, you probably just by surfing Instagram, you'll notice occasionally some of your colleagues uh, sharing about their services. Notice what is attractive to you and, uh, and, and what is maybe what feels pushy or something like that. So, um, and everybody has their own style. So like, for example, uh, for me, it's really natural when I'm promoting um, something to buy, I will do, uh, I'll do two things. I'll do an Instagram video about it. Well, basically there's only two things on Instagram, right? video and, and, and posts and images. So I'll, I'll do both. I'll do uh, an Instagram video, uh, usually a pretty short one. Usually, um, I think I just do stories, but uh, yeah, like a really short one, it's like, you know, and maybe a couple of segments like, Hey, upcoming, upcoming course, but you could do this one, one-on-one. -on -one. Hey, everyone, just want to remind you that I offer the one-on-one -on -one service for doing this. If you know, you've been seeing me talk about it. And if you want to work on this, uh, you know, message me and then we'll talk about, um, you know, whether it's a good fit for you, that kind of thing. And then the, uh, what I do secondarily, I do my carousel posts, which, um, basically is a, not necessarily doesn't have to be 10 slides, but it's multiple slides where, you know, the first slide is the title of the service or the, you know, the product. And then the second slide just kind of gives a, a, a very brief summary of um, who, like who it's for. Um, and then maybe the third slide is um, what it's about. Fourth slide uh, in the mix of the slides, basically I put in a testimonial or two and then the final slide is, well, where do they contact me about it? Or how do they go and find out? Um, I, I, you know, I think on Instagram, link in bio is a very common thing. So you have to put it on into your checklist when you're promoting a service to first change the link, the bio link. And then, you know, when you're posting it, maybe have the, have the promotional bio link for, for the next two weeks, because, you know, you're going to be promoting your thing for two weeks or something like that, or for a week. So um, yeah, so basically I would say, uh, I guess maybe the takeaway for me is I do my promotions in a similar way to how I do my content because I do carousels on my content. So I think my audience is used to that. And so when they see a promotional carousel, it's not too odd um, compared to my regular posts. And I also do longer videos. So sometimes I will do a longer video about the offer. So I do hope you'll try out well, what's natural for you for on Instagram. And also take a look, which of your content is getting more engagement? Like, well, I mean, in terms of format, video or carousels or image with caption, um, do the one that's the most, the best the format, that's with the best engagement, do that for your offer and, and see how that turns out. Um, but yes, also pay attention to your colleagues and how they're doing it and hmm, try, try that out as well. So let me know if that helps. And, and in terms of talking about your offer on video, I, you know, most of my videos are, are kind of off the cuff. I mean, I have a topic in mind and I have maybe a few points in mind, but I just kind of go, right? Um, when it comes to an offer video, uh, given that, remember, people have to have a bit more patience to watch you talk about your offer on video. It's not a piece of content. So I do think an offer video deserves a bit more scripting. Not that we have to memorize things, but we, we should probably be more thoughtful about, okay, well, first of all, how long is it going to be? Let's say three minutes, probably a good length, maybe, maybe up to five minutes, but I think up to three minutes is probably a good length. And it goes, if it's going to be three minutes, what must I say in those three minutes? Um, like what are maybe like the first 30 seconds, basically I'll, I'll mention, you know, who, who this is for or something like that. And then, okay, the next minute I'll talk about my passion for it and why I love helping this kind of person. And then it's so a weird minute and a half in, and maybe one more minute where I talk about what to expect 
uh, when you um, when you start working, or or how how do you know it's time to contact me about this or something like that, or or maybe what what some of the uh, experiences clients have had with this, and then final thirty seconds, you know, it's just to say, okay, this is the next step. If you're interested, um, contact me. We'll do a we'll do a free coaching session or do a discovery call to make sure it's a good fit. You know, kind of. So I kind of script out a little bit, not to not to because if you memorize it, it's it becomes very stressful and. But but just as like okay thirty about thirty seconds about thirty seconds and about a minute and about a minute so do that uh, if you're gonna do a video um, then then it'll come across better and uh, hopefully uh, if you keep doing this these kinds of practices at least once you know once a month I think is very reasonable maybe sometimes twice a month right like remember what one out of every five to ten posts can be a direct offer. To your audience invitation to work with you so it's probably going to be twice a month that you do this and if you do a video um, you'll get plenty of practice over over the months so hope that helps i want to thank mira for writing uh mira says i basically do a tile and, and actually mira by tile do you mean carousel or do you mean a single image i'm not sure what you meant yeah single i call them tiles but a single image single image photo just um some text and a you know nice colors background yeah okay so so you, so you do a single image and you basically say that spots are available or you might write a, a client story with an outcome and straight straight up say hey i'm offering one-to-one -to, -one to help with this kind of thing great yes i also also want to mention um check out the instagram profile of jonah richmond j-o-n-a-h jonah richmond r-a-c-h uh, R I C H M A N. He's a former, you know, Master Heart member who uh, really took on the market research idea that I was talking about, and like really took and run with it. And he's been quite successful with it. So his offer is a market research conversation, and he basically tells that's that's what he do, does on a regular basis. He basically says, "Hey, everyone, I'm trying to get to 100 market research conversations. Do you want to be?" You want to help me out and be one of them and you know during the conversation half the time i'll ask you market research questions half the time i get to answer whatever questions you have you know coach you if you like on on an issue that i can help you with kind of thing so split up the time um and he's been doing great with it that's been uh he's put those out and people have inquired and then he's had those conversations and some of those i guess enough of those have turned into clients where he's he loves doing them on a regular basis so consider that method as well